Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Carla Romero. Thank you so much for being here. And today I'm going to be creating this beautiful look using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Collaboration Palette. This retails for, um, I think is $38. You can always use the discount code that she has. I think it's 10% off. Um, yes, if you wanna see how I created this look, then please keep on watching. All right, so as you can see, I already have the face and my eyebrows done. So I basically just need to do the eyes, which is the main thing in this video. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So yeah, the palette looks like that. I'm sorry the cardboard is a little bit messed up because it was in a suitcase. But yeah, um, what's important is what's inside. <laughs> Looks like this, and in the bag it has some pictures of her and a cute message that she did um, write for um, all the all of her subscribers. <laughs> when you open it, it's wrapped up in bubble wrap, which I already tossed because I hate bubble wrap. And when you open it, it has, of course, plastic thing to cover up the eyeshadow so they don't get messy, and it has a little. Um, separate paper thing with the all the names of the eyeshadows which I really do appreciate so much because it's so to me it's easier if I'm doing my makeup and I just put this thing in the front and I can see the names hi, baby just say hi hi guys hi say hi. hi guys give us a thumbs up and enjoy what mommy does I really enjoy this packaging um, it's cardboard and um, I heard I saw some people online just complaining about the package saying that it was white and it would get dirty so easily but to me it's not a big deal um, if it doesn't get dirty then it means that you're not using it right <laughs> I don't mind it if it gets dirty if it does get dirty just go ahead and grab a makeup remover wipe wipe it down and it just comes right off it's no big deal <laughs> All right, I am going to be zooming you in just a bit more so you can see up close and front row. <laughs> All right, um, I already primed my lids using concealer and some translucent powder, so that's ready to go. I'm going to be going in with silk cream. I'm going to be using this color as my transition shade. And since that color is not the darkness that I'm looking for for the transition shade, I am going, going to go in with butter and I'm using a Morphe E28. Now I am going to go in with Pukey, which is so funny, the, the name. And I am going to bring this in the outer corner of my eye. I'm going to bring it halfway using a Morphe M433. I'm going to go in and use Crimsicle. I'm going to be applying this color the rest of my lid using a Real Techniques eyeshadow brush. I want to create more dimension to the eye, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with Hunts. I'm going to apply this in the outer corner of the eye using circular motion. Make sure you tap that, that excess powder off your brush when you're grabbing this color because it's very pigmented. I'm going to be grabbing Jada, which is the aqua color. I'm going to go in with Pool Party using the same Morphe M432. And I want to bring some, some lightness to the inner corner of my eye. So I'm going to be grabbing Obsessed. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, do a wing liner using the Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner in black and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and applied some eyelashes as well. So I did a basic, very thin wing liner and I'm using today the Samantha Lash by Huda Beauty, which is very dramatic, very out there, but I'm in love with these lashes. I've been using these for a good minute now. You can find these at Sephora. I will link everything down below that I used today on my face. So if you want to go ahead and see the description bar, yes, do that. For the brow bone, I'm going to be using Beam, which is a very light, kind of creamy shade. It has a little bit of glitter as well, which I don't mind. And I did do everything except for my highlighter because I was looking through this palette and I automatically fell in love with this shade called Faint, which is just Perfect shade for highlight. Ooh, yes, just a little bit on my chin. Let's about that lip. I'm going to be using liquid lipstick today, and it's the Kylie Cosmetics Velvet Liquid Lipstick Commando. 
And to set my face today, I'm going to be using Morphe Prep and Set Makeup Setting Spray. And that concludes this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial using the Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe collaboration. I really enjoy this palette guys. I am so happy with my purchase and I really hope you guys enjoy it too if you did purchase it. And if not, please go ahead and purchase it as soon as it comes out again. And yes, thank you so much for watching again and I will see you in my next video. Bye!